Welcome back to another video. Today we have some Skate 4 news. Two weeks ago, Skate posted on their official YouTube channel the video still working on it, which was basically a gameplay reveal of the next Skate game. Now today, they posted a new video, The Boardroom. This video pretty much just adds on to what's going on with Skate 4, and let's talk about it. So the first thing that they talk about is that Skate 4, or Skate, is going to be free to play. This is honestly very exciting because that means that anyone could pretty much play the game. The next thing I want to talk about is the platforms that Skate 4 is going to be on. Now, they didn't specifically say what consoles it's going to be on, but they do say that Skate 4 is going to be on old gen consoles, new gen consoles, or next gen, whatever you want to say. It's going to be on PC, and they're working on a mobile version of Skate 4, or as they would like to call it, Skate. So this is pretty interesting because obviously there's not really any great skateboarding games on mobile so this is gonna be pretty crazy that we're gonna have a official mobile skateboarding game that's like really good and that has a multiplayer and stuff I'm assuming it's gonna you know have multiplayer they said in the video that it's going to be cross-platform with everything so PC is going to be able to play with Xbox and you know vice versa everything so that's very nice now, obviously since the game is going to be free to play there are going to be micro transactions and they do indeed officially say that there are going to be micro transactions they say that in the video which is honestly pretty scary because every single time a game has microtransactions, the game is pretty much ruined. But they do put a list and I'm going to pop it up on screen on all the things that, you know, they're not going to include with microtransactions. So they say it's not going to be pay to win, which is great. Obviously, I mean, I don't know what would really be pay to win in a skateboarding game, but it's not going to be pay to win. There's not going to be any map areas locked behind a paywall, which is pretty interesting because on Skate 3, you know, obviously there's DLCs for parts of the map that you can buy. There's going to be no paid loot boxes, which is great. And there's going to be no paid gameplay advantages which I feel like is the same thing as not pay to win but you know whatever so to be honest I don't really know what is going to be the microtransactions in skate 4 because looking at all of these you know that's pretty much all the microtransactions they had in skate 3 I mean skate 3 didn't have anything really pay to win or anything but they did have the map thing like I said you can buy DLCs unlock different maps there was also DLCs where you can unlock clothing items the only thing that I can think of that they could do is add skaters that you can buy so basically Basically, they could add like a Santa outfit to the freaking shop or something. I don't know. You can buy it. It's like Fortnite or something. That's the only thing that I can think of. But I don't know if that goes in with the no paid gameplay advantages. I don't think that's a gameplay advantage. So I think that's what they're going to do is that they're going to add custom skaters to the game, especially they can see how good custom skaters are doing. I mean, they even have an import skater channel in the official skate discord. So they could clearly see how how, you know good import skaters do so that's what i think they're going to do is that they're going to add custom skaters to skate 4 that you're going to be able to buy imagine riding around as a smurf or something i don't know like that would be hilarious but i'm not going to officially say that because obviously they didn't say what is actually going to be in the game for microtransactions they didn't officially say that they just said what's not going to be for microtransactions the next thing that they mention in the video are collabo zones which are pretty much zones in the multiplayer map that allow you to build now if you guys play skate 3 you guys will know that you can't build in multiplayer unless you do a glitch so this is pretty interesting because now we're going to be able to make custom areas pretty much when we're in multiplayer so everyone could just skate on a giant mega ramp that's something that they showed in the video this is going to just bring multiplayer to the next level and something that they do mention in the video is that this is very multiplayer focused this entire game they don't mention anything about story mode which is very interesting so i wonder how much they're going to really add to a story mode if they actually do do anything with story mode it really does seem like everything they're focusing on is about multiplayer which is great but at the same time for those people that like 
playing only solo games and like story mode games or whatever you know this kind of sucks for them if they don't add a story mode but i'm sure they'll add something with story mode if they don't well i don't know what to say because i'm completely fine with just multiplayer that's all i play on skate 3 is multiplayer so i'm completely fine with that so those are pretty much all the main things that they do mention in the video if there's anything that i miss i would definitely recommend just going ahead and watching the video i just wanted to talk about what i thought about it so let me know in the comments of what you guys think about all this do you like that it's going to be free to play and there's going to be microtransactions let me know in the comments thank you guys so much for watching the video and i will see you guys in the next one peace out